Welcome back to another episode of this. It's the follow-up mission to the, uh, yeah, Stevenson killing thingy. That's a light that never goes out. Ah. Uh. Oi. Zuleika. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V. Uh. Meet Zuleka. Wait a minute. He. So we do have a little bit of a reputation here, it seems. Anyway, nice to meet you. Really wouldn't mind knowing what's going on. Uh... Is everything all right? Okay. Yeah, I am. Probably I will get some information as soon as possible. But yeah, let's see. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Mm. You are a friend of Joshua's? Kind of. A uh, recent acquaintance, more like. No. We're not friends. <sighs> Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can I... Not a fan of waiting, huh? Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! Hmm. Understandable, but he always triggers shit. What about her? Always on the phone, adjusting social media and stuff. Okay. Must be one of these kind of peoples. Holy crap. Do we know this dude? Johnny. Okay, so he is basically just uh, coming up here in order to tell us that there is a person at the shrine, and we don't know what that is all about. The thing is, maybe he's just looking around. Okay, so he is interested uh, in this uh, iconography thingy. That's weird. Oh, there's something. Uh, the Coptic Bible, yet again. Uh, I've read through this one sometimes in the past. No, messages. Um, burying the dead. So, like uh, El Amar. Father, how difficult it is to follow in Christ's path. The passing of the days does not make the pain any more bearable. Our Lord said, let the dead bury their dead. But it is impossible for me not to think of my brother's death. How should I interpret the words? Go and announce the kingdom of God. In speaking about salvation through suffering, will I find solace in my own pain? Ooh. Okay, so he must have killed her brother. Interesting. Father, thank you for your words of comfort. Things are still tense with mother. It is hard to get through to her. If you have some spare time, I would be grateful if you could pay us a visit next week. Stevenson... No, Stefanos Nassel. Reverend. This is not by any chance the Joshua Stevenson, isn't it? Anyway, um, I had the gospel today. This generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. I see now that a nice city like Nineveh still awaits its prophet. Many of us bear our own crosses each day as prophets unto ourselves, forgotten and ignored by others. Is there not one of us who may become the mustard seed among those branches? The birds will make their homes. The days following Reuben's death are dark, so I pray that the day tr truth path may be revealed. I hope that one day I will emerge from the belly of the beast and see the light. These are just uh, some, well, kind of mixed in together imagery uh, situation thingies in the bible like the belly of the beast thing is its own story then you have like the uh what was the seed thingy mustard seed is its own thing um but i don't know about the birds that make their home there i don't know more like a story about the uh, plant that grows anyway and also ruben's death don't know about ruben that much so Thank you. In hindsight, I see now, Father, that you gave me the best possible advice. Love is the ultimate remedy, and forgiveness brings relief. I feel stronger from uh, taking bolder steps, yet I receive even more strength from seeing how the mustard seed sprouts and grows. Thank you. Who or what is the mustard seed? 
who or what is growing. It might be a scheme or something. Mm. And there he is again. But this is a completely different iconography. No Christ, no anything in here. So this could be the room of a brother or whatnot. Uh, it's the sky to the net and Dr. Havoc and Radon. Uh, yeah, completely different. Uh, the Cartesian dualist, Turbo stuff, your god Yokiroshi. Kind of like god thingy, but in this case he believes more in technology than anything else. Um, so, why is it that we have only seen but not heard anything uh, about. Oh, what do we have here? Dr. Radon, yet again, uh, guide to the net. So, this was his uh, little quiet place. Vinyl records, uh, Anathora of San Cyril of Lexa. That one is new, I think. Uh, Anapora of Saint Cyril of Alexandria. We pray and beg for the mercy. Friend of man, do not sentence us to eternal damnation, nor abandon those who are at your service, nor banish us from your sight, nor tell us you do not know your, our faces. Fill our heads with blessed water, grant us a well for our tears, so that we may weep for our sins at thy feet. For we are the humble servants that grace in thy pasture. Wipe away our misdeeds and forgive us our trespasses, whether committed willingly or unwillingly, consciously or unconsciously, in the shadows or in daylight. Long forgotten or relinquished from our memory, for only the holy name remains. Hear the pleas of thy people, look upon the suffering of thy servants. Do not permit my sins or the impurities my own heart let thee to harden the hearts of others against the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Interesting. The problem about all of those uh, Please, biblical uh, kind of stories is that, that it's kind of like the original self-help book, you know? Uh, you get better if you do this and this and this and this and this. Uh, but... Nothing else, really. And there we get more religious imagery there. Interesting. One of them believes in God, the other one... Hmm. Two candles. That's a rare sight. The last time I saw candles was at the dark ritual. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, water be fine. Something strong. And good thing. Okay, come on. Let's get a little glass water. of water. Please. Alrighty. Whoa, what happened to the flask there? It switched 90 degrees instantly. She's a magician. Oh, what the heck? In the uh, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. I guess so. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Well, actually, not through forgiveness, but okay. Uh, let's drink a little bit and then continue with our little dialogue choices. Hmm. So, Joshua found redemption because of you. Uh, I don't know how you can forgive someone for. Okay, that people can do anything. Uh, hmm. You're the reason Joshua found redemption. It was her letter that started everything. But you can I only be redeemed exactly God. by this. Gave me another. Mm hmm. This is not how you do that. Your God allowed innocent people to die. Nah, it's not about this. True believers hard to come by these days. Why are we here? Hmm. It's not every day you run into a true believer in Night City. It was Providence that brought you under my roof. We met because of him. Uh, Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? Uh, okay, uh, why are we even talking about this? Could be some higher power. It's definitely a higher For power, but I not know this kind of thing. higher power out there, but nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can prove. Mm -hmm. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. Ah, oh, goodness. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this. Uh... I'm all ears. Religious debate. Uh, come on. Let's 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 see what happened. Damn it, I can't I'm say. All ears. Joshua, he he thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. Nah, that's that not going not to help true. anyone. 
I never said I was any sort of messiah. Mm -hmm. Suicide? A martyr, Do you then. really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? Mm. It won't be suicide. So, like, tell me what's going on. Uh, okay, so who do we ask in this case? So, uh, in this case, Joshua. What exactly is going on here, Josh? When the media learned I'd found God in prison, the next day my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. Mm hmm. <laughs> Bloodsuckers. An offer that he I cannot was refuse. The electric chair. Now, with the studio's help. My death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other. Just garbed in holy robes. Uh, she's right. Uh, in this city, there's nothing like that. Or well, insane. Uh, that's what this is. Why well, the brain dance? What do you hope to achieve? So Why yeah, the come brain on. dance? What, what's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. And that's it. It's time I repaid that debt. But not I want with to dying. bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Hmm. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices. Murderers who stalk the streets. Ah, I want to reach go. them. I will reach them. Hatred. There we and go. Think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Hmm. Well, I still have to meet Panem, you know. Who do we have here? She might not be Joshua as amused. Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? Name's V. My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. This I'm, is El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You. You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Hmm. Just go, please. Out, all of you! <sighs> okay, come on, Josh. You should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar. I don't know. It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. Oh, that Reuben. My child. My son. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the <sighs> car. Happens. You dying will not solve anything. Death usually does not solve anything. Because it's the people that are alive that can change things, not the people that are dead. No one noticed her just bugging in like that. Come on. Hmm. You may even get to multiple houses in here. Maybe some will be not as pleased to see him here. Hmm. Someone does not know how to drive a van. Just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. No. And somehow I thought I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Hmm. Uh, but we're gonna eat. <laughs> Gloria should have forgiven you. Well, it's not about who should have done what. Uh, it's about her state of mind. It's somewhat completely different than his, so they can't speak to each other at the moment. It's not possible. Where are we eating? Uh, pie Z. They do a great cup of coffee. Hmm. Yeah, Pie serves up killer cheesecake. <laughs> Got a killer cheesecake at Pie Z. I'm lactose intolerant. How about vegan avocado ice cream then? How well do you know the city? Hmm. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? 
I'm just curious. Happen to like it out here is all. Hmm. Anyway, Trond, uh, ever truly know Night City, you know? Can't know Night City well. Ever. It's always changing. Always surprising. Part of its charm. Hmm. <laughs> True that. <sighs> Let's hope we kind of got through to him. Everybody was just uh, saying some one-liners, right? Like, I talked to her. I didn't talk to him, though. And this is uh, still going on in his mind. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Oh. Uh -huh. Why do we always have to collide with some stuff in here? The invisible car collision? Wait Sorry. up a sec, I want to talk. Mm hmm. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? Yeah, this will backfire so much. Don't you need psychiatric care? No, it's not about him being psychiatric or anything. It's just that he has, um... Time's Eddie's V. What is it called? The Jesus Syndrome or something like that. Uh, where people think they are the next martyr or whatever. It's not going to help anyone. Uh, he's a true believer, but this is still not going to help anyone. Uh, in this case, it would be much better to help Joshua and not the BD, uh, yeah. What are you waiting for? People trying to uh, do their things. Seems like a nice guy. This is, um, not a nice answer. Can't make up my mind about him. It's not about him, though. Uh, it's also not about him being a believer or anything. Um, he's definitely a nice guy. Seems nice. You know, for a murderer. That's not what I said. Nice. Maybe. But I'd go with completely lost and unhinged. Mm -hmm. Some people are only nice because they're afraid of getting hurt. More because their religion tells them to be. Mm. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Money. Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. Mm. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Mm, yeah, the perfect actor then. <laughs> uh, I think you might be underestimating him. Hmm. Either he is a perfect actor, but it doesn't Time's matter. Much. V. But you do definitely underestimate the dude. I think he might be more self possessed than you think. Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both just out to get paid. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And this is where I come my into place. concern because... Mm. You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't, Don't do give a shit. Me. Exactly. Absolutely not. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Because I have a Caliban. Fine. Let's go inside. Caliban? Caliban. There we go. You just want the Not money. Not bad for a petty mark off the street. Shut up. Uh, couple kinds like that. Another fucking <laughs> thing. Exactly. Just that deserves our support. Uh, okay. But what is going on here? i growing curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. Hmm. One's sacred, the other's insane. But who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. Mm. So, let's get ourselves a surprise then. <sighs> it's definitely an interesting turn of events. Hmm. Let's see. At least I should try to um, keep him from... Well... Doing suicide because this is not how you solve any issue. So this would at least solve the overall problem. But then we have two other problems: the studio making uh, wanting to make money uh, using him uh, for authenticity reasons and just for uh, selling good BDs and whatnot, the second coming of Christ and whatsoever. Um, that's a nice thing. Uh, to remind ourselves with so this can have a nice effect but does it really change the people oh, does it really change the people now nah. it will just uh because this uh, city itself is just uh, full of perverted people um 
in different kind of ways, right? They... Uh, it's not crave, they, 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 they don't pray, they, they, they crave, there we go. Uh, they crave the next tie, every one of them. Some of them need the next tie in terms of money, some of them need the next tie in terms of physical experience, and some want uh, some brain dance uh, thingies whatsoever, right? Uh, and some try to come, yeah, to get by somehow, and this is their day-to-day -day kind of high, right? Um, they just want a reason for their existence. You don't really solve the whole thing by putting up a band-aid on it, by just uh, having someone getting martyred or whatever. Because, yeah, that's just a band-aid solution. It doesn't really solve anything. It would be better for him to start his own company and help the people uh, on a, yeah, day-by-day -day basis, the way the city works, instead of, well, yeah, doing this. He should put his beliefs in his actions. Uh, that's it now. I'd do that stuff. So let's see if there are uh, dialogue options that could get us into that direction. So that he stops killing himself. And also that the whole BD stuff gets uh, a burger. Why are we eating here again? This looks like a prison to me. Unpleasant tables, extremely loud music, advertisement, everything designed to just burn you. That's not cool. You should eat outside, you know. Much better. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways, like so many men. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> Can we change it? Yeah, tell me about this brain dance thing, come on. This brain dance? I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. Mm How -hmm. so? Well, Stevenson's furlough is only so long. You can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run up to the finale with BD doubles and Mobile Bank assets. Feel like Steven's though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM, Infinite Investment in Tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. I dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. Hmm. Okay. So they want you to feel the pain. What's your part in all? Okay. Can we please stop talking about faith? Yeah. Okay. No. His faith is there. There's no reason not to talk about it. But we have to do it in a different way. And you get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. They had originally opted for John. Guess that's uh, important for. Yeah, what? John's version is crude and over the top. The Gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. No, this is not how you do that. You do not force feelings on people. Sound like an actor who wants to really become the role. So, what are you trying to convey to the world then? So, what is it you want to convey exactly? That Christ was merciful and continues to die for the world's sins. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Mm -hmm. Fuck off already. Uh, what do you do to relax, Rachel? Uh, and the best chefs in the universe. If you're Relax. looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait yes, for well, I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? Right now. What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious space. question. I meditate. There you go. Didn't he take you for one with a spiritual side? God. Didn't take you for one with a spiritual side. You being, well, 
You. Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? Tell you why I'm here. Tell you exactly why. No, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Well done, Austin. All this talk about grace, salvation, and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal. We'll put you up at the studio. And you get lost. We'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. Same. Props. Really well played. I hope so. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. Exactly. That's cynical. Just plain feel bad for him. Doesn't matter long as it's made him a better man. Don't even feel sorry. Okay. Just plain. Yeah. Doesn't matter long as it's made him a better so, man. Well, ready? doesn't matter. Let's go for this one. I just feel bad for him. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? The corpse will continue to grow rich off his time, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel John? Seemed to have hmm. lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. No, he's Make not. Up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're hmm. fucked in the head because my fucked up head is hmm. inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice way. Step one. Get fucked in the head. You think God exists? Nah. Uh, yeah, come on. Let's continue that conversation. May God exist? Fuck. Kill me, please. Oh, pleasure. Serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined and got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct hmm. Yeah, I died and rose again. Can't deny that. <laughs> uh, so what was that? A miracle? Hmm. What's it make? A messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? I got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. I'll tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Oh. Interesting. One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before God. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. This is why the world is fucked. Because everybody killed a god. Constructs, uh, not a soul, different things. I'm not gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche, the possible consequences thereof. Really? I mean, are you already dead or alive to the last existing digi ghost of you is shredded? You mean, like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Mm -hmm. Ascend to digi hell's more likely. But yeah, there is life after death. The silver hand already live in the afterlife. And I'm talking to this animated epitaph. I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise. To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld. No happy wonder world. Just duped digital Hmm. Well then, on what we go. Today. Just kinda unreal. But reality beckons. Come on. We got places to trash. Actually, I actually really want to know how this ends. Maybe there will be a news thing happening. Oh, he's still waiting there. Nice. That was weird. But why is Morpheus sitting here? It's kind of suspicious. Does he disappear? He still keeps looking at us though. When someone stares at me. All right. Well then, uh, we go. Hmm. 
and there they went. Interesting. Let's hope that our little questioning uh, of the whole, well, reasons why they did it, what's in it for them, kind of gave him a little bit of a... Uh, more of an insight, let's see. Or at least let him question the things, because this is what humans do. Humans question stuff. Alrighty. Time to do another side mission. Thingy. Whatever. What's this? Down on the street? Psycho killer. Oh, this was the Gina's thingy. Yeah. Now we can talk to her and finish uh, the whole psycho... What not, what not. Uh, what my Caliburn though? There we go. Let's see when it breaks. A little too late. There. What the hell? Ribble. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of signs as. Wait a minute, no, this is a uh, main mission, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, what happened? Mm, oh no, wait, was it main mission or was it not? I don't really know. Uh, was it main mission? Was it not? Uh, Elizabeth something something. Uh, it was one of those uh, side missions that got triggered, the ones with the slightly deeper. Uh, uh, story about all of that. Okay, that means we're going to do maybe his uh, mission afterwards. Uh, yeah, and skip the whole psycho killer meet with Regina thingy because I like this to not get too overly complicated. Let's keep his uh, dialogue in one episode. So, what we do now is end this episode and continue with his side mission in the next one. Hit the like and subscribe. Ta-ta! <laughs> uh.